So as we enter into the Word of God, it, it is the moment for us, I think, to reflect on our relationship with Jesus Christ. This is in este momento entramos en la palabra de Dios, y es un momento en que podemos pensar un poquito en nuestra relación que tenemos con Jesucristo. So the the real key and the reason we are here is because of the love of Jesus Christ. That's why we're here, all of us. Es por el amor de Jesucristo que ya estamos aquí en esta iglesia. And it's really a time for us in a special way to present our own hearts to the Lord and to open them up to Him. Entonces es un momento en que podemos abrir nuestros corazones y de tener una relación muy especial con nuestro Señor. So Jesus, in this moment, in love, is our Savior. He is our Lord. He is the one who is calling us into relationship with God the Father. And so, Jesucristo, in this moment, is nuestro Señor, nuestro Salvador. Y también Él está llamándonos de entrar en una relación muy especial con nuestro Dios Padre. So, Jesus is what all of this is about. It's about His love for us. It's about letting Him touch each of our hearts. That's actually what the prophet Ezekiel was talking about, about changing our hearts from the stony hearts into hearts that were flesh. Entonces, hemos escuchado en, en uh, la primera lectura que que Dios está llamándonos de tener no corazones de piedra, pero corazones de carne. Corazones que ya están listos de recibir la gracia de Dios. So, in a special way, as we enter into this word, we're also reminded of uh, what St. Paul was or at least the Acts of the Apostles was saying to us about the Spirit of God coming upon the community of faith. In los hechos de, lo, de los apóstoles hemos escuchado el momento cuando el Espíritu Santo venía toda la comunidad de fe, todos los discípulos, todos los apóstoles. And that moment was really one that changed them completely. It changed them from their very toes all the way to the top of their head. They were changed. So, la venida del Espíritu Santo era un cambio muy fuerte para toda la comunidad, pero especialmente los discípulos y los apóstoles. And that's actually what we're praying for for our faith community tonight, that the Spirit of God come upon every single one of us, but the Spirit of God especially come upon these five young men, that they actually receive God's Holy Spirit in their lives. Entonces rezamos todos nosotros para, para el Espíritu Santo que venga a toda la comunidad, pero particularmente a estos jóvenes que ya están aquí esperando la, el, los regalos del Espíritu Santo. And the gifts of the Spirit are given to each of us, and it's really the Spirit of Jesus, and He gives us those gifts to say to us, that he wants to walk with us. He wants to travel with us in faith and in this journey of life. Entonces los regalos del Espíritu Santo en realidad son una llamada en que Cristo quisiera ser parte de nuestras vidas y Él quiere caminar con nosotros en la vida y en, en todo el viaje de la vida. So Jesus promises us that when we call upon the Holy Spirit, the Holy Spirit comes. The Holy Spirit comes. And that actually gives us hope, one, as, a, as individuals, but also as a church, that the Spirit of God is alive in us. The Spirit of God is here for each of us. Entonces, tenemos esperanza en el Espíritu Santo que Jesucristo prometió a todos nosotros. Que si tenemos corazones abiertos, 
el Espíritu ve, venga para nosotros para darnos los regalos del Espíritu Santo so usually guys I would ask you what are the gifts of the Spirit right now but I'm going to help you out because there are those the holy cards I gave you so I'm going to help you out right now so the gifts of the Spirit that you're praying for are wisdom understanding knowledge counsel fortitude piety and fear of the Lord those gifts are what the church cherishes in the sacrament of confirmation entonces los regalos del Espíritu Santo en que ya estamos rezando para ustedes son sabiduría ciencia inteligencia consejo fortaleza piedad y también el temor de Dios estos siete regalos son los regalos de Jesucristo el del Espíritu de Jesucristo que ustedes van a recibir so during the ceremony I'm actually going to lay hands on each of you on your heads like the early church did I'm going to ask Father Alwyn to do the same and we're going to invoke the Holy Spirit to come upon you in a very special way and then I'm going to anoint you with the Holy Chrism which is the same oil that anointed my hands as a priest and my head as a bishop and the oils also anointed the hands of Father Alwyn durante la misa voy a poner mis manos sobre la cabeza de cada uno de ustedes que ustedes reciben al Espíritu Santo en este momento como han recibido, han recibido la Iglesia Primera y también voy a ungir ustedes con el Santo Odio de la Santa Crisma que ustedes reciben también en este momento el poder del Espíritu Santo And so it's the power of the Holy Spirit that we're calling upon each of you. But as a faith community, we're also asking for the power of the Holy Spirit to come upon each and every one of us gathered here. So, es el poder de Dios que estamos pidiendo, el poder del Espíritu Santo, que todos reciben esta, este poder en nuestras vidas. El Espíritu de Dios en nuestras vidas. Ever since I got your names, I have been praying for you. And uh, I know your families have been praying for you. And the faith community that's here is praying for you right now. That the Spirit of God would be yours tonight. Entonces, en el momento que recibía uh, sus nombres... Ya empezaba de rezar con cada uno de ustedes, que ustedes reciben el Espíritu Santo y toda la comunidad que está aquí, ellos están rezando también para ustedes, que reciben la gracia de Dios, pero particularmente todos los regalos del Espíritu Santo. And so I'm going to ask the, the young men to stand and to uh, renew their baptism promises, and then I'm going to have the whole faith community do the same with them, but you're going to stay seated, okay? So, young men, if you will, stand. Párense. Los candidatos. Solamente. Los candidatos. Okay.